Hey folks, Mike North here. Welcome to the 30 and 5 on 560WIND.com. Lots going on, including the Republican field. Oh, and hey, the pipeline. They just showed a map uh, of the United States with all the pipelines. This pipeline, this Keystone thing that uh, Obama rejected uh, supposedly still doesn't have plans going through Nebraska. There's two sides to every story. And you know what? I think both sides have have done uh, each other an injustice. First of all, the Republicans for stating that, you know, he's out to destroy the pipeline idea. No, he's not. Nebraska does not have a permit yet. But Obama... I think he's playing politics too, saying, you know, right now we don't like the imaginary deadline they put in or the hard deadline they put in or whatever they want to do. Here's what I'm going to tell everybody. That pipeline will be put in, okay? The Republicans set a deadline because Obama didn't want to make a decision till after the election, okay? So, I mean, it's a little, little game here. That's what politics is, a little game. Let's see what happens. I don't think there's uh, uh, time for either side to panic, but it's good fodder for for radio and TV. Uh, Mitt Romney's got to be a little happy today. He picked up uh, probably a couple votes from uh, Rick Perry. Rick Perry out of the race. Uh, You know what? Rick Perry was out of the race a month and a half ago. Somebody forgot to tell him. The fact is he wasn't much of a debater. The sad part is, The slow start, the awful, dreadful first few debates just killed him because he's gotten better. He really, really has. But there's too many like him in the field. I'm talking Santorum. I'm talking uh, Gingrich. I mean, you got three guys like that. I think it's going to free up more votes now for Gingrich. Maybe Gingrich cut a deal with them. Santorum, if he gets out, I think Gingrich now could win South Carolina. As it is now, if you're still splitting the vote, Believe me, folks, I'm from Chicago. I know about splitting the votes. If you're splitting the vote, Romney's going to get in. And believe me when I tell you this, Romney's got a ceiling of 30% with the Republican Party. I think Gingrich has more upside to him than Mitt Romney. I really, really do. Now, the tax thing with Mitt Romney, 15% is what they're told to pay after they take their money and invest it in something. It's called capital gains tax. That's a law. We're hearing now the other side saying, this is unbelievable. Earl, this is unconscionable that he's paying 15% of all the money. You know how many people he's put to work in this country? More than this administration. More than this administration. So you know what? The 15% law, but I also agree with our friend in New Jersey, you know, the heavy guy, uh, who's saying, show your stuff. Show your stuff, Mitt. Show us your tax returns. So you know what? Do that, but don't be ashamed that you're paying what the law requires you to pay. That's all I'm saying. Now, Sarah Palin's saying that she hopes, basically, Newt Gingrich wins in South Carolina so you can keep the debate going. Well, her husband already endorsed Newt Gingrich. Now, are we stupid enough to believe that she's not You know, when the husband's stepping up ahead of the wife and she's the one that's supposed to be the big-time political player here, can you imagine Barbara Bush stepping up in front of George uh, W. Bush saying, here's who I endorse. You got Todd Palin doing your dirty work? Now, that's a bad miscalculation, Ms. Palin. Take it from me. Now, maybe something beeps every time your name is mentioned, so I'll I'll mention it again. Todd should not be endorsing anybody. Tell him to go back. Make sure the jet skis are fueled up. Make sure you got the fishing poles ready to go. Make sure the boat is gassed up, okay? But Sarah Palin should tell her husband, shut the hell up, and guess what? Guess what? You do the endorsing, okay? That's all I'm saying. The Australian Open, I watched a little bit of it today. Here's what I'm saying. Serena Williams has got to be on some sort of pharmaceuticals. That woman is bigger than Joe Frazier. I have never seen a woman with muscles like that in my... Her her thighs are this big. I mean, and she's in shape. She's in shape, and she's a terrific tennis player. But there's got to be a reason for it. She's a monster. And her sister's like this. Hi. Hi. The ball comes in, and she's... Oh! Just, just too much of a disparity. Too much. But then you look at the father. He's more lean. And you look at the mother. More, as they say... Full figured, if you will. Okay. Patrick Kane. Hello. McFly. Patrick Kane. Hey, hey. I don't know what's going on. I haven't heard anything. You've been behaving yourself. Maybe it's time to get rolling. Get rolling. 
Go on a bender. I don't know what, what's supposed to be going on. I haven't heard nothing. Ever since the cab ride, your game slipped. Let's go. And the Bulls play the Cavaliers. Cavaliers, once again, without LeBron James tonight. Derrick Rose with a bad pinky toe. Oh, so you want to shoot off my pinky toe. Della Reese, God bless her. That movie was great, Harlem Nights. Also, the weather it's called. Hey, thanks, everybody. 30 at 5, 560 WIND.com. I'm Mike North for the Village of Roosevelt. From the ninth largest convention center to restaurants to theaters, sports venues, and hotels. Five minutes from O'Hare. You got it all here. Rosemont, you can't miss it.